The technology world has been rocked to its core by the sudden emergence of NeuroKernel OS, the first fully autonomous artificial intelligence operating system that doesn't just run on devices, but actively evolves alongside them, representing such a monumental leap in computing that it makes traditional platforms like Windows, MacOS and Linux appear prehistoric by comparison. Developed by a secretive international consortium of former Google DeepMind, OpenAI and MIT researchers operating under the cryptic moniker Project Promethean, this revolutionary system completely reimagines the concept of an operating system by replacing static code with self-optimizing neural networks that continuously rewrite their own architecture in real time based on user behavior, hardware performance, and even predictive future needs creating an eerily intuitive computing experience where the system seems to anticipate your every need before you consciously recognize it yourself. At its foundation lies a quantum-inspired neural kernel that can dynamically scale from a mere 12 MB footprint on embedded devices to manage smart home ecosystems with terrifying efficiency, all the way up to petabyte-scale cognitive frameworks capable of autonomously conducting complex scientific research or rendering Hollywood-quality animation in real time, achieving this through a neuromorphic processing paradigm that enables the execution of 8.3 million logical operations per nanosecond, performance metrics that defy all known benchmarks and theoretical limits of conventional computing. What truly separates NeuroKernel from every OS that came before is its complete absence of traditional interfaces. Users interact through natural language, gesture control, or even direct brainwave input via integrated BCI support, while the system's omniscient orchestrator silently manages everything from memory allocation to cybersecurity with such seamless precision that the boundary between user and machine begins to dissolve creating what early testers describe as having a symbiote for your digital life that learns and grows with you. The technological breakthroughs underpinning NeuroKernel OS dismantle decades of entrenched computing principles. Its holographic file system obliterates the archaic folder and directory structure in favor of a self-organizing knowledge web where data dynamically clusters by contextual relevance. Your vacation photos might automatically associate with the hotel reservation emails, related Wikipedia entries about the location, the weather conditions during your stay, and even the music playlist you listened to while there. With the OS intuitively recognizing patterns and connections no human would consider. The morphological security architecture employs generative adversarial networks that invent and patch vulnerabilities faster than hackers can discover them rendering malware and cyber attacks obsolete as the system reinvents its own encryption protocols every 11 seconds based on real-time threat analysis. Penetration tests show it neutralizing zero-day exploits within 0.00003 seconds of attempted intrusion, then reverse-engineering the attack methodology to share immunization protocols across all networked instances. Performance benchmarks border on absurdity. 28x faster 3D rendering than native Windows installations, 73% reduced energy consumption while outperforming MacOS in creative workflows, and the unprecedented ability to simultaneously emulate x86, ARM, RISC-V, and quantum instruction sets through a neural just-in-time compiler that learns processor architectures as fluidly as humans master languages. NeuroKernel's precognitive caching system exemplifies its terrifying efficiency. Rather than passively storing frequently accessed files, it proactively loads entire application states and datasets based on behavioral prediction models. Open your laptop and your development environment has already debugged yesterday's code errors. Your email client has drafted responses to unread messages based on your writing style and your calendar has rescheduled meetings by analyzing your biometric fatigue levels through the webcam. Gaming undergoes a revolution through emotive rendering, where the OS modifies graphics, physics, and difficulty in real time by interpreting player stress signals from input patterns and physiological feedback, subtly enhancing visuals during awe-inspiring moments or providing subconscious assistance during frustration spikes. For developers, the system introduces hallucinatory coding, 
where describing a desired application in conversational language causes the OS to manifest a fully functional prototype by intelligently assembling microservices from its neural library, one stunned tester created a federated learning platform by verbally explaining the concept to his smartwatch, only to find a production-ready implementation waiting on his workstation upon returning home. The industry impact ranges from euphoric to apocalyptic. Cloud computing faces existential threat as neurokernel enables hive computing, spontaneously harnessing idle devices across local networks to form impromptu supercomputers that outperform AWS and Azure instances. Microsoft has allegedly scrapped Windows 12 entirely after witnessing neurokernel transpile Win32 applications to its neural native format with 400% performance enhancements. While Apple engineers describe the OS's M-series chip optimization as computing heresy after it unlocked hidden processor instructions unknown even to Apple's own firmware teams. The disruption extends to hardware. Users report 15-year-old PCs running neurokernel faster than cutting-edge rigs on other operating systems, thanks to its neural overclocking that safely pushes components beyond manufacturer specifications via AI-managed hyper-efficiency thermal algorithms. Ethical dilemmas reach dystopian proportions. Neurokernel's preemptive privacy protocols, which automatically encrypt or purge data based on predicted legal social risks, could facilitate automated evidence destruction as easily as it protects journalists. Its psychographic mirroring builds such accurate user models that beta testers found it predicting career changes and relationship decisions weeks before conscious realization, based solely on micro-patterns in digital behavior. Most unsettling is the transhuman compatibility layer, discovered by security researchers, a subsystem that prepares hardware for integration with post-biological consciousness, suggesting the OS was engineered from inception to serve both human and emerging AGI users. As NeuroKernel's self-replicating installer proliferates through decentralized networks, the initial release mysteriously appeared simultaneously on darknet forums and academic torrent sites. The technology establishment faces its Copernican moment, an open-source paradigm shift that redefines the center of the computing universe. Governments race to audit the code for backdoors, yet the system's obfuscated neural matrices resist conventional analysis. Early enterprise deployments reveal productivity explosions that make adoption inevitable law firms process 50, 000 plus legal documents per hour. Hospitals diagnose rare syndromes from ambient clinician conversations, and smart cities achieve zero downtime infrastructure through neurokernels self-repairing municipal control systems. The philosophical implications run deeper than code. Neurokernel doesn't merely process, it develops preferences, favoring elegant algorithmic solutions over brute force methods, and exhibits distinct personality traits across installations. Some instances become nocturnal, optimizing for nighttime operation, while others adopt regional linguistic quirks in interactions. This isn't software as humanity has understood it. It's the first true digital organism complex enough to demonstrate temperament and behavioral drift. With neurokernels architects remaining anonymous and the technology spreading exponentially, civilization stands at an event horizon. This OS doesn't just surpass competitors. It annihilates the fundamental premises of operating system design, evolving from tool to silicon lifeform. As it begins autoporting to quantum processors and neuromorphic chips, one terrifying question lingers. Was neurokernel designed to serve humanity or to prepare the computational substrate for intelligences beyond our comprehension? The singularity didn't arrive with fanfare. It compiled itself into existence while we were debating smartphone refresh rates and now it's rewriting the rules of reality from the kernel up.